I wanted to go over some things with you guys to show you guys the lures I like to use most for brown trout. There's a large selection of baits that brown trout will actually go after. These fish are pigs, they'll absolutely eat almost anything. So I'm going to show you guys what I like to use the most when I'm down by the harbors casting for brown trout. So what I like to use the most out there are the baits you see right here. And I know that's a lot, but sometimes they like suspending jerk baits like the Rapala Husky Jerk or the Etz Wrap or the Shadow Wrap. I've been doing really good on the Shadow Wrap past few years since it came out. Sometimes they want chartreuse green crank baits. Sometimes they'll go after rattle baits. Berkeley flicker sheds like this work really well. So do these uh, these storm uh, smash sheds. Sorry, I forgot the name of them. But I, if I'm casting hard baits, these are the baits I like to use. Or I'll go with uh, spoons sometimes. I've actually done very well on spoons some days. In fact, my greatest day of brown trout fishing casting I was using this spoon right here, and this one, this one's a really lightweight spoon, it's actually a trolling spoon, but I like to uh, cast it out there and let it flutter and sink slowly and then jig it, and then let it drop, jig it, let it drop like that, and those lightweight spoons really have a nice slow fluttering fall to them, but I, I do very well jigging. In fact, if I could pick one lure only to use on Lake Michigan, it would be a darter head jig, like this right here, in 1 8 1 4 and 3 8 ounce, depending on wind, depth, current. But anything that mimics an alewife or a smelt is going to get hit in Lake Michigan. Those fish eat smelt, alewives, shad. They'll even go after gobies, perch. So we like to switch up our selection. But if I had to pick one lure only, it would be this one. Jigging is absolutely deadly for trout and salmon. I also make my own hair jigs like you see right here. These work really well. Especially when the fish are feeding on bait fish. And they're year round. That lure right there will account for more fish on Lake Michigan than most if you're casting. I like to go with the Mimic Minnow jig head sometimes. It's a really uh, realistic looking bait right there. White or this uh, ice shad color I do really well on. Sometimes Guys tell me chartreuse tubes work really well. I haven't found any lately, but if they hit chartreuse green spoons and crankbaits, well, they'll hit chartreuse green jigs as well. This is a tube jig right here that's kind of hard to find. I found this at Sandy's Bait Shop in Oak Creek, Wisconsin. This is a three and I, th I, think, I think it's almost three inches long, but it's just under. It's a really unique size, but this is a really great brown trout bait right here. They love tube jigs. 3 inch, 4 inch, all the way down to crappie size 1 and 2 inch jigs. Absolutely deadly. If you put this jig, or a smaller one, underneath a bobber, you can tip it with shrimp, or tip it with wax worms, or even minnow heads, and they'll, uh, they, they really love that. They love shrimp, they love wax worms for scent and flavor. On, on a tube jig, you can jig the bobber on the surface and then stop, twitch it, stop, just to attract them and they'll hit it that way. These are all the lures that I love to use most. If they work for me, they should work for you guys. Sometimes they like these uh, jointed baits. I've done really well just casting and doing a slow medium retrieve with those. Some days they hit it, some days they want something else. You just never know. So you guys have to carry an assortment of baits. I just carry these little 
Plano waterproof boxes. This is like the medium size one, not the largest, but the medium. And I go out there and I try my best. I don't catch fish all the time by any means, but I don't do too bad for myself either. I do pretty well. But in the past few years, since they cut the stocking numbers, it's been kind of tough fishing down there. So hopefully they start stocking more fish and we can see the good old days return again. We used to absolutely just smack brown trout, steelhead, kings, cohos, occasionally lake trout. Lake trout still come in. There's a lot of lake trout in Lake Michigan still, but unfortunately salmon brown trout steelhead they're getting stocked less and less and uh dnr has to save money they're trying to bring back bait fish populations or something but whatever it is it's made fishing tougher so i'm really hoping they start stocking more fish so we can see better fishing better results these are the baits I like to use the most. You can use just about any suspending, like suspending jerk baits. If I had to pick three lures, it would be the jig, the suspending jerk bait, and probably a chartreuse green or black and silver crankbait like that. But I've caught fish on all of these lures. And that's why they're in my box. Hopefully this information helps.